Preserving the environment requires a holistic understanding of the interactions between the rock, water, soil, air and human and non-human living things in what we call the critical zone. The area between the bottom of the water aquifer and the top of the tree canopy that supports all life on Earth. Without this holistic understanding, we might respond to environmental problems in ways that do more harm than good and miss opportunities to resolve environmental problems through the selection of measures that could offer multiple benefits. The China-UK Critical Zone Observatory has conducted in-depth research in differing agricultural landscapes across China on the complex interactions taking place in the critical zone, which has shown how human activities such as urbanization, industrialization and farming impact different landscapes in different ways and revealed ways to better sustain fragile environments and support local communities. In Ningbo's urban farmland fringe, analyzing the interaction between different types of soil, urban and industrial waste and bacteria, revealed risks to human health from antibiotic-resistant genes. In Jiangxi's red soils and Shanxi and Ningxia's Luo's plateau, Drilling deep underground to study the interaction of plants, soil, water and rock revealed the harmful accumulation of excess nutrients from the application of more fertilizer and manure than crops required. And in karst landscapes of Guizhou, studying the interactions between farming practices, porous rock and eroded soil revealed how animal waste and fertilizer use is polluting the water supply and how soil resources can best be restored. Now, the China-UK Critical Zone Observatory is using this research to help develop underpinning science for informed decision support tools in order to promote sustainable agriculture. Agricultural decision support tools are a good way to apply complex science to practical day-to-day -day decisions about things like what to plant, when to plant, and how much fertilizer can be used, and what are the environmental impacts. This can benefit the environment and the livelihoods of local people. But around the world, agricultural decision support tools typically prioritize maximizing yield rather than minimizing environmental impact. New tools can focus on yield and the environment at the same time. By including economics as well, the tools may provide win-wins for farmer incomes and the environment. The China-UK Critical Zone Observatory's holistic view of the critical zone means that decision support tools will be informed not just by the impact of different decisions on agricultural yield, but by interactions with the whole of the critical zone, above and below ground, and every one of its living things, including people. And informed by the China-UK Critical Zone Observatory's knowledge exchange research, Decision support tools will be responsive to changes in farming practice as well as the requirements of the local people who need them. Our researchers are modeling the interactions between different crops, soil and water to help sustain agriculture in fragile environments. Our researchers are also developing models that combine everything from irrigation and crop type to soil moisture to help restore soil resources and sustain the local community's water supply. To learn more about the China-UK Critical Zone Observatory, follow us.